He's like, why are you even here right now? See, some people come to church, talk about, yeah, I'm saved, but they can't even see that their souls are enslaved. Ooh. Got another question for you. Why do you come to church? See, some people come to church just to catch the Holy Ghost. But I don't understand how you catch the Holy Ghost. See, the Holy Ghost is supposed to be living inside of you. But if you do catch the Holy Ghost, why do you let him go when you leave? Come on now. Some people come to church talking about, yeah, I'm saved, but they can't even see that their souls are enslaved. And congregations clapping hands and singing songs thinking, that's all that it takes to keep your spirit strong. But I want you to know, it's about more than just coming. More than getting your shot on and more than just running. See, some people come to church to show their brand new things. They show their clothes, their cars, their money, and their rings. But it all means nothing if you're not living the life. I mean, you talk him as your savior, but you're not living it right. You're not hearing the truth, so we can't set you free. You'd rather pass notes and gossip, and that's why you can't see. No wonder your life is full of ditches and potholes. You're not paying attention to that who can make you whole. People claiming God, turning around, using profanity. You come to feel God, yet you leave feeling vanity. People playing with God, trying to keep their sanity. You claim to follow Christ, but conform to churchianity. That's why you come to church and then leave the same. What you don't think God is real? You think he's a game? Children running from God like it's hide go seek. Coming back with the same problem week after week. And people telling you was wrong, and you call it critique. But James 1 and 19 says be quick to listen, slow to speak. Yeah. See, you got to enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise. Yeah. You got to really do it. Don't just recite the phrase. I mean, you claim to walk with Christ, you must part with sin. It can't stand in your life when the Holy Spirit enters in. Are you really convinced that sin will send you to hell? Oh, you're waiting for the 12th round and the ding of the bell. Yeah. Will you believe the whole Bible, word yeah. for word? Or will you act like a chicken and then run scared? So many people <laughs> claim, I want to be like Christ. And the second they get home, they turn around and be like, psych. Woo. See, we want to put on God when it's convenient for us. But you need to worship God on your face and yes, it's a must. When you come to the house of God, giving him reverence, not looking for presents, worship him and get in his presence. Amen. It's time now, y'all, to mature and grow up. So wake up, get up, and grow up so we can go up. Now, I've got one last question. Where would your life be? Each and every one of you, myself included. Where would your life be if this church building and all the other church buildings didn't exist? Because, see, the Bible says that we are the church. Yeah. This is just a building. This is where we come together to not forsake the gathering together of the brethren. This is just a building. Soon it will pass away. We are the church, the ecclesia. Yeah. The book of Ecclesiastes was about the church, the ecclesia, the ones that have been called out from darkness. Yeah. So where would your life be if these buildings didn't exist? Would it flow like a river or fade like a mist? Thank you.